Whipple supports two email languages, namely HTML and text emails. The email that you see in front of you right now is an example of a plain text email. Plain text emails do not have any bold or underlining, any color or any images in it. It's a very simple way of sending an email. The advantage of sending an email in plain text is that it has a low probability of being caught in any spam filters. The disadvantage of using plain text emails is that you are unable to add any bold, any color, any underlining or any images to your email. And this is where HTML emails comes in. HTML emails facilitates all the bolding of wording, adding color and adding images into the email. The advantage of using HTML emails is that they look pretty and that the modern email user is used to receiving emails in HTML. The disadvantage of using HTML emails is that they have a higher probability of getting stuck in any spam filters. This should not prevent any users from sending emails in HTML as this is a standard that most clients expect. If your organization has any images, bolding or underlining or color in your email signature, then all emails being sent out of Workpool will automatically be HTML. Currently, this is an HTML email because, as you can see, we've got images, bolding and color. To change this to a text email, we can click on Convert to Text. If I click on it, it will give me a warning message saying that converting this message to plain text could result in some formatting being lost. Are you sure you would like to continue? If I click OK, the image, the bolding and the color will be lost. And now it is a plain text email. To convert this email to HTML, being able to add bolding, underlining, color or images, I can click on Convert to HTML and it will immediately allow me to add pictures, bolding and all the other features.